Yum, yum. Greg here from Pixel Fondue. This is gonna be a very short video on uh, motion blur settings for Octane for Moto, uh, particularly when using a deforming object, either with deformers or mesh ops or a point cache like MDD. So I have two cylinders in the scene. One has a bend deformer. This pink one has a bend deformer. And the blue one is just that bend deformer saved out as an MDD point cache and loaded into this one um, as an MDD, MDD deformer, right? So it's just a point cache like a Lembic or MDD. And yeah, so let's take a look at uh, motion blur and all the buttons we have to have pressed to make sure it works. So hit render, no motion blur. So let's start going through this. Camera, you need to go to camera effects and enable motion blur. Still no motion blur. So what else do we need to do? We need to make sure both of these guys, I'm gonna click on both at once, um, and the Octane tab have live geometry update um, clicked, and I'm just going to click that, make sure it's on. Okay, it looks good. Let's refresh our Octane. Still no motion blur. So I'm going to pop open my um, Octane kernel here, and under the animation tab, I'm going to click camera motion blur, and I'm also going to click object motion blur. Now, with camera motion blur on, anytime the camera's moving, you'll get motion blur in the scene. Not from the moving objects, but just from the camera movement. And sometimes if that, that's all you're doing is a fly through, like an architecture or something like that, that's all you need. Object motion blur is gonna work with objects and transform. So if you have a ball and you keyframe the scale or the rotation, um, with, with the ball, the rotation is not gonna show much, so say a cube, <laughs> scale or rotation uh, or translation, right? Um, no deforming, just, just transforms. Then object motion blur, with that check, work just fine, you'll get good motion blur. Um, but the problem is these are deforming, right? This is an MDD and this is a bend deformer and, and point deformation is different and you have to get more information to the renderer. And so what you need to do is, is come over here under settings and click use Moto Render Cache. And you'll notice that nothing happened, but I'm always uh, like refreshing and then you'll see it now, right? So sometimes if you don't see it happening, especially as motion blur, either stop and restart it or refresh it. There's a couple of other settings here that we need to take a look at. Um, one is just under the camera. We'll just, just double tap state, escape here on the camera. We've got um, blur length, and then, which is also the shutter speed. So in Moto, these are together. So if I double the blur length, it has the shutter speed, right? And you'll see much more blur here. So we go do it again, way more blur here. So let's just, let's do 100. But one of the things you wanna do is over here in the settings under, under the, um, animation settings of the kernel is you want to have um, use moto shutter speed you can turn it off and you can add your own if you want to if you have something particular you want to do but i think it's easiest just to use moto shutter speed and honestly for we're not using real cameras here we're using animation it's a lot easier to just use um the settings here 100 percent means you're going the blur is going from the current frame 100 percent back to the frame prior to that 200 percent is going to go you know back two frames, right? And that's how that works. And it's much easier to conceive than like shutter speed. If you're trying to match real world footage, maybe you need to dial that in, but we're just gonna do this. And another thing you may wanna do is this is pretty fast moving, but something like a car's wheel spinning where it's making huge jumps, right? Every fraction of a second, uh, if it's going fast, um, requires a lot more samples. So you wanna go again, go in here to the kernel and under animation settings, you'll see animation samples per frame. And you could bump this up, I think it usually starts at one, whoops. Um, and, you know, let me just refresh that. But typically you're gonna want this, something a little more. Now, again, like something like a car wheel, you may have to go up to like 60 something or, or whatever, but typically like four or eight or something like that, it's probably gonna be okay. And again, let's just stop and restart it here. And so we have some nice, like, you know, looking, you know, a ton of samples going on here, it looks pretty good. Just push in so yeah looks good right so this will there you go there's your animation in moto now sometimes some things you know you may bump into situations where it's just not working um even with render cache on and in that case i would suggest clicking this button here exporting an animation it'll export an orbix file or orbx file and you can load that into octane standalone and all that with camera setting if you've, if you've turned on motion blur on the camera um, it should be turned on in the scene, the shutter speed and everything, and you should be able to see it in Octane Standalone. Sometimes that's the best way to do it is just to go to Octane Standalone. But if you don't have Standalone, the real key here is clicking um, make sure use Moto's render cache. Okay, that's it. 
Oh, I'll put this scene up on the uh, Pixel Fontu Discord. If you don't uh, uh, already go to our Discord, the invite link is in the description. All the content from these videos is in the Discord. Yum, yum!